G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. As you may already be aware, Gallery Aquatica is expanding. We're going to be opening up our second store on the other side of town and we're going to film every step of the way. Today's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV, we're going to show you a first look at the new store and we're going to take you along every step of the way as we set up the next Gallery Aquatica. So let's just take you through a number of the areas of the store. Now clearly we've only just moved in. We've started to put some of the first tanks in place. A lot of the tanks we're going to start off with are going to be temporary tanks. Just tanks to house things whilst we get our new systems established. Now what I'm standing amongst is going to be our coral system. And as you can see there are three what we call coral troughs. They're long fiberglass troughs with glass panels. That's important, the panels, the side panels are glass for easy cleaning. And we're going to have them tiered so that this will be the top, which will drain into the second one, and the second one will drain into the third one. So that we'll have a nice flow through of water and we'll be able to have all of these three troughs on the one system, filtered by a customized sump which is going to be over this section here. So this will be our coral system. I should also mention, we're going to put them on the stands. Hopefully we'll have the stands for this system uh, set up in the next uh, few days. And they'll sit about, uh, probably a little bit over a meter high. So it'll be easy to see into them. So this is our coral system. Let's move over to where we're going to have our fish system and see what that's all about. This is the area that we're going to have our saltwater fish system. It's going to be very similar to our Wynnum Stores fish system in terms of the size. The difference will be that rather than being a straight line of tanks, we're actually going to have an L system. Now, at the moment, we've got these Ks that are just sitting in place uh, because we're still using this store as storage space for our other store. So these Ks will be moved They'll probably be on this wall over here, but this wall will be part of the fish system and the other section of the fish system will be over here at a 90 degree angle. Now this tank, we're actually lucky, uh, we got this from one of our friends, it's the exact correct dimensions to be our 8 foot predator, we call it the predator tank. It's basically just a large tank that will be able to house fish that get large. Uh, possibly things like stingrays. At our other store we have the wolf blenny and some big tangs. Um, things like that that you can't keep in small aquariums. We'll also have a couple of uh, four foot tanks and on this side it'll be our smaller tanks. So I think this will work very nicely. We'll have our back area behind the tanks with our sink and uh, it should be the perfect location for us fish for our marine fish system. Now one of the exciting things about our new store is going to be the fact that we're not just going to do saltwater fishing corals, we're also going to do freshwater. Let's have a look at what we're going to do with our freshwater system because that's really exciting. This side of the shop is going to be the freshwater section and this trough that we've got here is going to be a bit of a display tank slash selling tank. The plan will be to have these large pieces of driftwood coming up out of the trough. We're going to have a combination of aquatic plants such as Anubias. We're also going to have some terrestrial plants which will grow on the driftwood that's come out of the water. Um, we'll have lights suspended so that we've got dappled lighting and we'll have freshwater stingrays as well as a few other special fish that we've already got in our propagation room ready for this tank. It'll be a really interactive tank. You'll be able to look down on these cool big fish and the size of it will make for quite an interesting display. Probably unlike anything I've ever seen in an aquarium store before. Now, we're going to have a large stand of freshwater aquarium products. Uh, we're going to be selling some brands that aren't commonly seen in, in Brisbane and we're going to really specialise in some of the top end uh, freshwater planted uh, brands that are available. 
At the moment, we've just got a big pile of chillers and uh, Red Sea salt. Uh, like I said before, we're still just using this area as storage. Uh, but this will all go, this will be our freshwater stand, uh, dry goods. And on this wall here, we'll have our freshwater fish system. Now, we've got a couple of large tanks, as you can see. These are a temporary system we're going to use to get some of the fish that we've got in the propagation room uh, back at Wynnum into the store just to get us started. Um, it's a, an awkward time for us to get our fish system built, same with the, the marine fish system. Given the fact we're so close to uh, Christmas, we're going to really prioritise this in the, in the new year. But for now, we'll have our two large tanks, we'll have our uh, fresh water display, uh, we'll have our stand set up. So we'll have quite a good selection of things for people to come in and, and you know, interesting things to, to look at. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other areas of the store because this location is quite unique and there's a couple of things that really are going to benefit the way we operate. Let's have a look. One of the big advantages of this location for our new store is the fact that it, can, it comes with this awesome counter and it is huge. Uh, still needs to clean, my hands are dirty just touching it, but uh, it's a really good space. At the other store, we've got this tiny little counter and it's so difficult when two people are trying to stand behind it. We've got a till here, we'll, you, uh, this will be our place for putting through the sales, but we'll also use this counter for display tanks. Uh, as we said before, we're going to have fresh water and salt water. We'll have some little nano tanks, uh, little, uh, little nano reef tanks. We'll have little nano planted tanks. Uh, we've already got a, a terrarium, which is going to be one of our display tanks. We've just set it here temporarily for now. We're not exactly sure where it's going to go, but we'll definitely have a number of display tanks as well as all the space in front of and underneath this counter. It's really cool. I love the fact that we now have a space, which is a staff only space, that we can put a big stand for, uh, for the expensive products, for the Ecotech, uh, a lot of the LED lights that we sell. They'll be safe behind the counter and it'll be easy to access. We don't have to have um, under lock and key. But there's one more feature of this area that uh, really excites me about. It's the back room. Let's go check it out. So it's going to be great having this back room and uh, it's something that we don't have at the Wynnum store and it's, it's so great to be able to have a proper office area uh, but also somewhere that we can have um, proper storage. We've got, it's, it's a massive space really, we're going to be able to put a heap of stands, we'll be able to stock a heap of dry goods that uh, we can't really fit on the floor. Um, we can put all sorts of things out here and it really is one of the biggest advantages of this location. It'll be great to be able to have the storage, but also uh, uh, you know, a private area where we can do some serious work. Um, Anya doing her fish orders and Tom doing his quotes. This area will be really handy for that. And I also love the idea of putting a couch so I can have a snooze every now and then. Let's have one more look at the front. This is episode one of our new series about setting up this store. And we're going to call this episode The Vision because really all we have here is the vision of a new store. And we've got some really exciting ideas. It's gonna be a very different aquarium store, different to our Wynnum store, uh, different to any other aquarium store that I've been to or have seen in Brisbane. So it'll be exciting not only setting up this store, but to bring you each step of the way to getting this into a fully functional aquarium store. So that's episode one. I uh, can't wait to show you the next stage. We'll have water in the tanks. Uh, we'll probably have some corals and some lighting and there'll be lots of things that uh, we'll have to, to show you in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.
that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing!